Hi, well in this video I would like to explain how MyQ works with scanning and what are the basic workflows. The first thing we would like to focus on is the difference between the native scanning and our workflows. So let's say we are here at the machine and first we will start with a native scanning. That is represented by the panel scan button. If the user presses that button, he automatically gets into the native scanning of the machine using the environment of that machine. The problem of that is, or might be, that the user gets overwhelmed by many options, like the resolution, the original image, color, format, destination, density, and all these things, because of which the users may spend a lot of time just selecting the right options for him to get the scan exactly as he wants it. Another real disadvantage of this option is that all these settings and the menus are different on different vendors. So even if the user is used to a certain machine, it might be a problem for him to come to another and find the same option to get the same result. On the other hand, the MyQ Easy Scan button pretty much does everything for the user. The user goes there, inserts the original, presses the button, and the file is delivered into the destination exactly as the user wanted it, without additional effort, without losing his time standing at the machine and selecting additional options. So let's look at the way how you can set your Easy Scan and how your user can actually use it and benefit from it. The first thing is the admin perspective. So this might look a little bit complicated, but on the other hand, these are just a few clicks explained in a long slide. So for the admin, it will not be you know, a huge effort to set it up, while uh, the user will really benefit from that. So let's say we are now setting a new easy scan button. The first thing you would do is you would set the layout, so which icon it should use, and you will provide a description so the user knows exactly what he's doing. So for example, scanning to an email. Second part is then about a target destination, where you can select from variety of options, like the cloud storages, using a single sign-on, so the user doesn't have to provide his credentials every time he wants to scan to that destination. An email, which also includes the address book, which can appear on the machine. Again, using the MyQ interface, so he doesn't have to leave the interface of the embedded terminal. Scanning to fax server, scanning to folder or multiple folders at a time, the secured link, which is a special option of MyQ to ensure that your file will be delivered. It means that if there is a limit, for example, on your email box, and you are scanning there, it may happen normally that the file will not be delivered because of that limit on that email box. While if you're using a MyQ, there is an option that if the file is larger than the limit set, the system will automatically store it on its hard drive, and instead of the actual file, the user will just get a secure download link. The last option here is then the FTP, which can be of course used for scanning as well. The next step uh, for the settings will be the parameters. Everything from resolution to color, duplex, simplex, continuous scan, scan separation, original image, and all these things you can imagine. Now this is just maybe one important thing for you, something you really have to know is that all the things which are mentioned here and all the available parameters are highly dependent on the vendor and individual model of the machine you're using. So certain options might not be available for your device simply because of the thing that the machine cannot handle it. And the last thing the admin has to set are the access rights. So who should be able to see what? There's an option to set a post-processing, means that if you would like to connect it to some third-party software where you will need a metadata files, the system can generate it for them either automatically or based on the selections done by the user. The last option here are the codebooks. Through codebooks, you can define a dialog, a list of options or a pick list from which the user has to select something and either affect the already mentioned metadata file or the target destination, as I will show you in the example. So that's pretty much everything what the admin has to do to make sure the easy scan button is ready. Now, if we look at that from the user perspective, all these things we've been setting here will look exactly like this. One button, which the user has to press, and the output will come to that destination.
Now, little examples will not hurt. So starting first with the absolute basics, the basic scanning profile, which is just one click action button. The result will be like this. The user will go there, insert the original, press the button, the file is scanned and delivered to the destination, which has been predefined behind that button. On the other hand, sometimes you need a little bit more complex solution. Like I said, you would like to provide a user some option to select from a certain list, which will affect the output, or you would like to create a, some metadata file for your DMS. That is represented here by the DMS scan button, which is a special modified button with a code book and with some settings that will ensure that the metadata file is generated. So the output would look pretty much like this. The user goes there, presses the original, uh, presses the button, clicks on a certain option, so like if you would like to archive the file, uh, what is the type of the document or what is the target department, which here represents the destination to which the file will be sent. Then he confirms that file is scanned and delivered to one or even multiple locations at a time. The last option, which is there, is also related to settings and especially settings of rights. Because through the settings of rights, you can make sure that certain options will be available only to selected people. So even one, the very same button may behave differently for different departments or different users. Like you will see, these two users are sharing one button, one smart workflow. But if that appears, after pressing the button, there's a real difference in the output. So the one on the left has a lot more rights than the one on the right, and that way is able to scan to multiple destinations. The user on the right does not even know that these destinations exist, and that way he's not bothered by them, and he can just press those two. That way, as you see, the one very same workflow can have different outputs. So that'll be pretty much everything about the workflows. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to extend the whole process by using an OCR or uh, if you need uh, even more sophisticated workflows, how to extend it using the MyQ Ultimate version. So thank you for watching and let's see each other at another video.